We would like to invite you to the Zilina region to get to know our customs, traditions and history, to roam the mountains and castles, to bike riding and skiing. You are welcome to visit our sites, to play golf and also to try adrenaline activities, spa or water park relaxation, but also to taste our local cuisine specialties, simply to go to places where you will certainly feel comfortable. In terms of geographical division, the Zilina region is divided into five historical regions of such a diversity that every visitor can find here what is close to his heart. These territorial boundaries were naturally defined by the High and Low Tatras, as well as the Mala and Velka Fatra massifs. This dividing corresponds to the historical development in this area. Thanks to this, till today, there have been preserved specific manifestations of life, which are inherent to the region and are increasingly a source of touristic attractiveness of the regions. The Zilina regions belong to tourist jams, not only within Slovakia, but due to the proximity of the border with the Czech Republic and Poland, also in terms of international importance. In winter, as in summer, the regions of Horne Považie, Lipto, Orava, Turiec and Kisuce offer a beautiful countryside with ideal opportunities for visitors to combine sport and recreation. The region of Horne Považie includes the city of Žilina with its surroundings and also with the Rajetska and Terchová valleys and the territory of Bitcha. Ideal conditions for urban tourism are provided by the very center of the region, the city of Žilina. It has a great number of historical and architectural monuments from the early Middle Ages to the present day. Its historical heart is Marianske Námestie, the square proclaimed a town conservation reserve. The Budatin Castle is only a few minutes walk from the historical center of Žilina. The first mention of the castle comes from the early 14th century and it originally served as a water castle. At present the castle houses the world's unique collection of art and craft products of the Poverske Museum. A rare wooden Gothic church of St. George still has been standing for centuries in Trnove in one of the city boroughs of Žilina. One nave rustic church with a shingle roof was first mentioned in writing in 1582. The Strečno Castle, one of the most famous castles in Slovakia, stands on the rocky cliff nearby the main roadway from Žilina to Martin. The castle was built in the 14th century to protect the toll collectors at an important fort over the Vach River. Today, in the Strečno section Barierova, tourists are offered rafting trips on the Vach River. A jewel of Renaissance art, the Wedding Palace, is part of the Bitcha Mansion and one of the most important Renaissance monuments in Central Europe. It was built next to the castle in 1601 by Juraj Turzo, mainly for wedding receptions. The Wedding Palace in Bitcha is a national cultural monument. After almost complete reconstruction, it is reopened to the public. A large complex of bizarre rock formations can be admired in the Sulo rocks near the city of Bitcha. Cracks in the shape of needles, towers, windows, gates form a distinctive landscape complex that gives people pleasure of romance. After climbing to the ruins of the Sulo castle, they can enjoy beautiful views of the surroundings. The international airport Žilina Dolnihričo is also an important part of the transport infrastructure. It facilitates access for foreign clients and it also offers sightseeing flights around the region. 
The Malafatra National Park is located in the Krivanska Malafatra Mountains, full of remarkable natural beauty with rich flora and fauna. The highest peak is Velki Krivan and the most famous peak is Velki Rosutec. Several trails lead to its top and some of them pass through the Janosik Gorges. Boboti Sokolje Orvratna and Tiesnavi, with lots of cliffs, rock formations and gorges, are the most visited places here. Nearby there is the village of Terhova, thanks to its location known as the Malafatra Tourist Center. It is a birthplace of the legendary folk hero Jura Janosik, and this is why, more than 50 years, the village has been hosting the International Folklore Festival Janosik Days. The village is famous for its excellent musicians and many cultural events for visitors from home and abroad. In the Rajska Valley, visitors cannot bypass the Lietava Castle as one of the largest and most visited castle ruins in Slovakia. Its origins go back to the end of the 13th century, and the first famous owner of this castle was Matuszczak Trenčianski. Between the Luchanska Mala Fatra and Martinske Hole in the Rajčanka River Valley, there is the spa Aphrodite Rajske Teplice. After extensive renovations, the spa has changed a lot and made Rajske Teplice an attractive place for healing and relaxation wellness stays. Thermal springs with a 38 degrees Celsius thermal water are used in the Balneology Center. The exclusive complex of outdoor pools and saunas in ancient style offers rest and relaxation. The surrounding countryside, the sunny rocks and the Stražo mountains offer special trips in all seasons of the year. After a remarkable hike, here you can taste various regional food specialties as well as in other parts of the Žilina region. The complex of unique folk architecture is located in the village of Čičmany at the end of the Rajska valley. Rare wooden houses decorated with painted white ornaments are conservation reserve. The best known object here is the so-called Radens House with an exposition of the Pomarska Museum about the life, work, customs and habits of the common people in Chichmani. The pilgrimage village Rajska Lesna lies just a few kilometers away from Chichmani. It has a world reputation for the monumental Slovak Bethlehem of the folk woodcarver Josef Pekara with the typical Slovak architecture and dozens of moving figures. The Kisuce region is bordered to the north by the Kisutske Beskidi and Turzovka mountains, roughly defining the border with Poland and the Czech Republic. Rather, it is a mountainous region characterized by high relief fragmentation with altitude from 323 to 1236 meters above sea level. The Kisuca region is also much visited by tourists from neighboring Poland and the Czech Republic. The region has a great number of marked hiking, jogging and biking trails. On the border with the Moravian Silesian region, these trails have been linked to the local routes and tourist attractions to promote cross-border tourism. If we want to discover the magic of the region, we can start in the north in Kisuce. The mountains of Javorniki, Kisutske Beskidi, Turzovka and Kisutse mountains provide all year round opportunities for hiking. Well-known tourist centers are Mako and Velka Racha, but in Kisuce there are many more attractions for lovers of relaxation and sightseeing tours. It is worth visiting the natural site Megonki, the largest natural stone bowl site in Europe. Sandstone formations of spherical shapes are located in an old stone quarry and at its edges. The Museum of Kisuce village is located in the picturesque Chmurna Valley in Nova Bistrica Vichilovka. The entire area is part of the protected landscape area Kisuce. Its flora and fauna, together with the beautiful architecture of wooden houses in Kisuce, create for visitors unforgettable scenery. The museum also hosts many cultural and folklore events.
A unique forest railway is part of the Museum Vichyloka. If you have never ridden on a historical train, you should certainly try it here. In the past, this technical monument of world importance was the connection of two regions, Kisutsa and Orava. In Kisutsa we can visit some other tourist attractions. In Stara Bistrica there is the only mechanical clock in Slovakia, showing astronomical data too. The clock is almost entirely made of wood and has the shape of a seated Madonna. Six bronze sculptures of famous Slovak historical figures are also part of the work. It contains figures of saints moving and spinning around on the clock. Not far from the village of Stara Bistrica, on top of the Bobovec hill, there is a new lookout tower. It is 16 meters tall and made from traditional materials, stone and wood. The tower offers a beautiful view of the surroundings. In Radola, the oldest village in Kisuce, you can find the oldest cultural monument in this area. Here lies the magnificent Renaissance castle, which is definitely worth a visit. Here you can enjoy a walk through ancient history. Four meters high replica of a long-haired female mammoth in the cultural house in Krasno upon Kisuca reminds us of ancient history of the Kisuca region. Thousands of years mammoth teeth found in this area is also on display in the local natural history exhibition. Lovers of fine arts cannot bypass the Kisutsa Gallery with a special offer of different exposures in the mansion area in Oschadnica. The birthplace of famous Slovak actor Josef Kroner is open to the public in the village of Staszko. The permanent exhibition is installed in a house close to the railway station. The Turiec region lies between the Mala and Velka Fatra mountains and hills of Kremnica. For its exceptional natural beauty, it is also called the Small Garden of Turiec. This region offers opportunities for cultural cognitive tourism too. Velka Fatra belongs among the best preserved mountains of Slovakia. The greatest natural treasures of this national park are mostly preserved forests and forests of the Carpathian type. The main ridge of the mountain is very high and it is divided into the Lipto and Turiec parts. The Turiec side is characterized by long canyon valleys deeply cut into the limestones and dolomites. The Gadierska and Blatnitska valleys belong among the most beautiful and most visited of the Slovak valleys. They are dominated by rocky peaks Tlsta and Ostra. Lisets and Borisho are also characteristic peaks of this region. There is the most famous of many Malafatra caves called Majarna. Archaeological findings in this cave are the evidence that people have lived here from time immemorial. A historical link is found in the nearby village of Blatnica, about which are the castle ruins with first mention already in 1230. The village has the 18th century baroque and classicistic mansion. Today it houses an exhibition about the life and work of filmmaker, photographer and ethnographer Karol Plitska. Up to this day many folk architecture buildings have been preserved in Blatnica, which is the most beautiful village in this region. The Turiec region has much more of natural beauty and historical monuments. It is also the Turiec river flow that creates in the middle of meadows and fields meanders with fascinating corners of river vegetation. The region is rich in flora and fauna, many mineral and thermal springs and waterfalls. The Shutova waterfall as a magnet for tourists is the largest one in the region. Turiec is an ideal environment for rest and relaxation. From spring to autumn, it offers many opportunities for hiking, swimming, biking, fishing and hunting. In the Museum of Slovak Village in Jahodnitske Haje, near Martin, we can find out how people of this region used to live and work in the past. Various folk festivals with demonstrations of folk crafts and customs are held here as well. 
This region is also attracting lovers of water sports, swimming and relaxation. The spa town of Turchanske Teplice, thanks to healing thermal springs, has the capacity for medical tourism and wellness activities. The local aqua park is a real paradise for visitors in any season. Turiec has a tendency to become a recognizable region of international importance of tourism and thus satisfy even the most demanding visitors with top quality services of rural tourism. The Lipto region, with one of the most beautiful sceneries in Slovakia, is ranked among one of the most visited regions of the country. It is also due to the location, the attractive basin of the Vah River, surrounded by the high, low and western Tatras, the Mala and Velka Fatra and Hoch mountains. The Low Tatras is one of the most visited places in Slovakia. The area of its national park offers great opportunities for hikers on almost 1000 kilometers of marked hiking trails. The busiest tourist and ski resort spreads across the Djemenovska valley and its three peaks – Dereše, Chopok and Dumbier. In the Lipto region, tourists, holidaymakers and foreign visitors like to visit the Malinova Brdo resort, the Prosiecka and Kvačianska valleys. Of course, you can find here much more natural attractions. In this region there are four caves, national nature monuments. Cave of Liberty and Ice Cave in Demenova, Stanishovska and Vajitska caves. Each of them is unique and interesting. If you come to Lipto, you shouldn't miss these caves. The mountain bobsleigh track in Paucina Lehota is the oldest of that kind in Slovakia. You can try it yourself that it offers a unique adrenaline experience. The local region is extremely rich in thermal mineral springs. New thermal aqua parks and swimming pools, open all year round, have been built on its territory. Thermal water from natural hot springs, with a temperature up to 39 degrees Celsius, is used in the pools. In the Lipto aqua parks, Tatralandia and Gino Paradise Beshenova, visitors can enjoy swimming pools, water slides, wellness and spa centers, adrenaline attractions, sports grounds and animation activities. The Luchki Spa in the beautiful Hoch mountain surroundings is one of the oldest spas in Slovakia. You will find here a quiet environment for the whole family. Aqua Vital Park offers baths in healing thermal water all year round. The Lipto Basin Dominant is an artificial dam Liptovskamara, which provides opportunities for swimming, surfing, water cycling and fishing. The Zhilina region can also be proud of monuments included in the list of UNESCO World Cultural Heritage. One of them is Vokolinets, a settlement located below the sharp peak of Sidorovo, nearby Ruzumberok. More than 40 original wooden houses and farm buildings form the most famous and best preserved complex of folk architecture in Slovakia as the prototype of a mountain agricultural and shepherd's village. The Museum of Lipto village in Pribilina is characterized by objects from several villages, besides wooden residential and farm buildings representing the folk architecture, there are also two rare medieval stone buildings. The museum holds a variety of ethnographic and cultural events. Havranok is one of the oldest cultural monuments in this region. This open-air museum includes settlements, the early Iron Age sanctuary fortress of the Celts living there in the past. The largest wooden evangelic church in Central Europe is located in the village of Sveti Križ in the Lipto region. It was originally built in 1693 in Paludza. During the Liptovska Mara Dam construction, this church was moved to the village of Sveti Križ. In the nearby vicinity stands the Likovka Castle as the highest lying castle complex in Slovakia. The castle festival in Likovka is held below the castle and the permanent exhibition of the castle history is established in the Hunyadi Bastion. The Orava region has a rich natural, cultural and historical heritage. 
It shares its northern border with Poland in the line of the Orava Baskets with the Western Tatras Ruhace, the Choć and Malafatra Mountains. The Orava region is ideal for traditional folk culture and nature lovers who prefer non-crowded places for holidays, individual approach and activities in nature. Another attractive tourist part of the Tatra National Park in the Zhilina region is the mountain Rohace, named after its sharp peaks. Deep valleys, monumental peaks, waterfalls, beautiful lakes and rich flora and fauna are special offers for tourists in Rohace. The Orava Castle stands on the steep rocky cliff, 112 meters above the confluence of the Rachova stream and the Orava River over the village of Oravsky Podzamok. In the past, it was a border castle guard. The oldest part of the middle castle is originally the 13th century Romanesque tower. Other objects began to emerge in the 15th century. The massive stone walls and bastions were built one century later. Currently, the castle houses an exhibition of historical weapons and armaments, natural science, archaeological and ethnographic exhibitions, and exhibition of historic housing. The Orava Castle is one of the most important cultural monuments of the Zhilina region and the most visited castle in Slovakia. In Orava there is also a wooden church, registered in a UNESCO European Cultural Heritage List. It is the Roman Catholic All Saints Church in a Gothic style in Tvrdošin from the 15th century. In 1993, the town of Tvrdošin won the Europa Nostra Award for rescuing the church. Visitors can admire the traditional folk architecture in the village of Podbiel and in the Museum of Orava village in Zuberec, where Podrohatske folklore celebrations are held annually. The village of Zazriva is the place where cooks from various European countries meet regularly to contest in cooking dumplings. This typical Slovak village offers a variety of cultural and sport events. Another attraction is also a procession of hundreds of villagers dressed in their original folk costumes for the memory of their ancestors. The Orava Dam, built at the confluence of the White and Black Orava Rivers, spreads in the beautiful nature scenery of the Orava region. On its banks there are several recreational areas, offering opportunities for fishing, swimming, sailing, water cycling, surfing and other water sports and attractions. For summer tourists, the most popular parts of the dam are the southern and western sides with vast beaches. Concerts of classical music are held here under the name Musical Summer. Another attraction is also the Slanitsky Island. Winter and a wide blanket of snow are attractive for the Zhilina region visitors from all corners of Slovakia, but also from neighboring countries. For winter sports lovers, there are top quality ski runs on Kubinska Hola in the mountains of Oravska Magura, as well as in the Spalena Valley in Zuberec in the vicinity of the Rohace Mountains. Among popular ski resorts here belong Velka Racha, Vratna, Martinske Hole, Jasenska Valley, Valcha Jasna, Malino Brdo, but also some other newly built centers. Many of them also provide evening skiing with artificial lighting. In Oravice, just below the Rohace mountains, skiers have the advantage that right after skiing they can heat in warm waters of the thermal swimming pool, open all year round. Believe us, in our region there are lots of attractive places for vacation, hiking or visiting the historical sites. Try to see it with your own eyes and then you will certainly enjoy this part of Slovakia. The tourist region of Žilina heartily invites you.